Hey guys. Well, I got my uh, got my little shop heater. It's a thirty thousand to fifty thousand BTU. So, you know, works pretty good. <clears throat> Today, what I got is the ECM motor. It's a one horsepower ECM motor. As you can see, it's a little dusty. So today what I want to do is I want to convert it. I want to convert it for an X13 motor. Okay, here's our X13 motor. Here's the old ECM. So I don't know if you can tell the difference. It's got 16 pin. Then we got our uh, 5 pin here. This one, don't have that many. So we will put it together. This is what I call ECM magic or ECM madness. <laughs> you choose. Okay. Here's where the old bracket went. <clears throat> we don't need it no more. So I just put the screws in all the way. So um, in case later if they do want to go back we can go back. But um, put this thing back together. done. I got my wires hooked up. I got my 16 pin. I got taped off so it doesn't hit nothing. I got zip tied. Um, let's kick it on see what happens. I'll fix that run cap at least. Going, pilot slip. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. Let's see, oh, I hope the only sparks, only fire is in the firebox up there. And that, my friends, is an ECM to X13 conversion. We didn't change nothing in here. Uh, no extra parts needed. It actually half the cost of an ECM motor. Uh, you're looking at 1,300 for ECM versus 800 for this. Um, without a warranty, I think the X13 is better. But um, let me button it up. Well, let me fix that run cap. Then I'll button it up and go. Okay, I got it all tightened down. Put a couple of 516s uh, bit tips in there. Uh, for the record, this tag job is not mine. <laughs> I'm just, uh, this is the local reputation. Um, we're the ones uh, doing all the repairs for them. But um, you see, run the thermostat wire underneath, coming in, and the high voltage up right through there, coming in. Um, should put the disconnect down there. Cutouts for for the rest of it. But anyway, 